We're 10 seconds out. Plenty of time to tell an announcer you love them if that's what's in your heart. Five seconds. Ten seconds. Five seconds. Naga Siren game. That's apparently what we're going to be handling here. Bleed just feel like it's the answer to Azure Ray, or is it an answer to their own problems, Savory? Perhaps both. Mm. Yeah, I mean, Jackie did look pretty good on that Naga Siren, and in a game like this, a series like this, elimination on the line and such, you probably just want to go with whatever makes you feel most comfortable. Jackie is definitely feeling himself on this hero. I think it's just a, it's a confidence pick, honestly. Because you're picking it into Pugna, they get a Medusa counter. This game looks like an awful Naga Siren game. So he's got to pop off. And that is where confidence can play a key factor in an elimination match. Why not pick what you want to play and what you think you're going to destroy the enemies with? So they have confidence in him. Do I have confidence in him? All right, gang, 30 seconds. Eh. <laughs> I don't know. This looks, yeah. this looks like a tough knock game. I'm not going to lie. Your carry matchup's bad. The mid hero owns you in the late game. Darkseer can deal with your map pressure. Spirit Breaker can catch you and stop some of the split push. And Pugna kills all your illusions in the fight. I must say, yeah. I think. Um, Sounds rough. I mean, Skyrath Mage, I've also been really feeling. And I know the stats do back that hero up. But I just look at Azure's Ray's uh, support duo, Pugna plus Spirit Breaker. And I already feel like very happy about that, you know? What was man up here? Yeah, he is. And uh, he is taking a lot of damage. But then again, so is Ice Ice Ice. They're going to give away first blood. Somnus will take that first blood. So his matchup against the Storm Spirit just got a whole lot better. Yeah, that is not the first blood you wanted to give up, especially with how much committed off the Skyrath Mage to get it. I mean, Duo at the TP bottom, he's basically out of mana for this Dark Ceiling. That is super nice for Chalice. Just eliminated a crap ton of harass on the early levels. And it's a Naga lane versus a Dark... I feel like Azure are going to run away with this Dark Seer Spearbreaker lane. Like, what is going to stop them over the long run here? Well, apparently it's... Dubu's going to do his best. His best will have to be good enough here as Somnus has first blood. That lane is missing resources. And top should be a free farm lane for low. I don't think Underlord Rubik can pressure Medusa early, though you do have the double base damage reduction for later on, which is nice. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's true. We talked about that a couple of times, this combination against Medusa. Yeah, the little combinations for Bleed are where their lineup's going to have to find its stride. Like the Underlord Rubik, you also have this Storm Skyrath duo. Yeah, that that's pretty potent. Very strong over the course of the tournament, something we've seen a lot of the Eastern European teams fall back on. You know, you take the Pugna opening, they're going to take the, the Storm Sky. I guess the other route is you can go Ember plus one, but this Storm Sky is looking pretty damn good. The the single target pickoff threat is just insane. With the Vortex into an Ancient Seal. 
Yeah, yeah I guess it'd be hard for Somnus to play around. I feel like uh, just talking about Storm Spirit Pugna, the fact that Storm Spirit is missing Pugna, is missing some sort of mana battery in that regard, makes me feel all the more that he needs a successful laning phase. Because when Storm Spirit is looked good, it's usually off the back of pairing up with certain supports, or it's been off of a win on the laning phase. DJ just run down. Yeah, that's not great. Okay. That's not a lane you should probably be dying in, at least not this early. No, especially as a Rubik that you want the extra levels, at least off of stacks or kills or something. Yeah, not going to find it here. I agree. I mean, you want a fast start for Storm. You especially don't want him dying. I think these supports like Skywrath or Silencer can help the Storm in a different way. Like, you're not giving him the direct resources, but you're giving him indirect resources by providing enough damage that Storm doesn't have to commit as much on the kills. Backing back in with the double eye on Shell. FY's taking a lot of damage in return, but not enough. He'll get the kill on Dubu, or at least Chalice will, and he'll still be able to get away. I think this was just an inevitability. Yeah. They came to this lane with far too little resources, and it's just not really a winnable lane. Sky Naga is not going to stop somebody eventually dying to the double shell charge. Chalice should have a very good start here. And that is scary for Bleed because their Darkseer answers are not amazing. They don't have much control for the Surge target. They don't have much control for these charged shells going in. This second phase Darkseer Spirit Breaker looking set up to be fearsome. It sounds to me like you really like Azure Ray's draft compared to Bleed. I just don't know what Bleed's win condition is other than... I guess Jackie get big. Storm going like 10 and 0. Okay. And Jackie having a game like he did game one, but I think that's going to be a lot harder to do. They do find FY. All right. Good kill. Good kill. Dubu, Jackie putting something together here in the safe lane. I mean, I guess the Storm and Naga are, are doing pretty well. Yeah, they are. CS wise. Lead. Underlord is, you know, he's just going to be an aura bot. So his start is not necessarily that pitiful here, though. I, I do think this lane is a tough one for Isis Ace as well. Like, Pugna, Medusa, two super long range heroes are going to just smack you the entire lane phase until you get the Vanguard. Which one do you think he gets first? Like, he gets Vanguard and then goes back for Pipe and then back for Crimson? That's what I would imagine the build is here. Yeah, it's got to be Pipe first. This is a Pipe game for sure. You need to help your cores, especially your Storm, go into fight first, all this mag damage, and survive the Coil. That's the biggest thing. When this Coil lands on Cordon, does your Storm live or does your Storm die? That's kind of deciding the fight here. And a lot of the, the situations in which the Storm... This lane's working out all right. They're going to get another kill. The hell? Okay, well, I mean, they picked off the support, and then while uh, FY was away filling up a bottle, they pick off the darks here while he's alone, so they're not presenting that double ion shell threat, and now DJ gets a kill into Tian Ming. These are not kills I would have expected. I, I do not think these are straightforward at all for Bleed. I think Azure were in solid position on both these silings, but crumbling in the last minute here, and Bleed taking full advantage of it. Finding some spark of life in the later day. As the sun goes down, their hopes go up. Corden, he's going to have to take a quick trip back to base. Ooh, the Ensnare catching him underneath the tower here with the Blood Grenade as well. Has to trade off aggro to the Creep Wave before he's punished too much. Ice 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 will die to that dive from Tian Ming. So he comes back. He dies, but he comes back and gets the kill on Ice 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 and tips him too. Man. Uh, this Pugna really doing work on the laning stage. Punishing Underlord before he can get the Vanguard. That feels great. Two big kills on the Slug. Going to set him back as that Vanguard gets delayed and delayed. And FY gets ensnared again. Should be okay. Yeah, Jack, he's not faster than the cow with boots. The thing is, all this attention... It, like, Somnus did not get six off mid first so they couldn't get this coil kill connection there wasn't some level three charge shell going into mid or to top here for azure which mm -hmm. i think was a possibility like okay if you want to leave chalice alone bottom and he feeds that one death and then gets the vanguard and now he's invincible make it pay off somewhere else if you're fy right sure right Shell the breaker let him go through the gate or tp top kill top or kill mid before storm is six i think those are all reasonable plays here no that really happened so FY. Game for FY. He's going to spoil that move and almost took the power rune. Ends up spawning on the other side. Somnus will take that and FY will die we for missed. his efforts. No, he did miss. Dubu's going to have to complete the kill. Not oh going to get it with that God. hit. And the concussive is up too late. It's nighttime. He can't see him anymore. FY, the RNG god over here. Gets the bash on the hit. 
the displaced cord, and then he gets the uphill miss halfway up the. I mean, seventeen percent. Yeah, uh, this guy wants to win this game. I'll tell you that much. Or maybe the RNG wants him to win the game. That's true. Maybe Gaben wants to see game three. Did he ever play on RNG? That's the real question. Ah, uh, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so either. Maybe he should have. This luck. DJ's trying to stack some camps. We'll fight for the Wisdom Rune. Should guarantee it with the stun. Yeah, telekinesis should make this no problem. Grab him, throw him away, grab the Wisdom Rune. And turn me. The death. Yeah, he does want to fight to the death. He has a level advantage over DJ. He thinks he can get this kill. DJ, well, he's got magic wand charges, so he's not in any real danger here. Yeah, but you showed him who's boss. I guess so. Nobody messing with this pumpkin. That pumpkin will roll on over back to his lane again. Meanwhile, Jackie is going to start spreading his illusions out, going through the jungle, but giving up space on the tower. And Somnus is the one who rotates to try and clean this up. By the way, he's still sitting at the top of that net worth chart, just off the first flood. And I guess not having to rotate in this game, he's gotten pretty damn farmed. I think he's just playing to scale. I mean... Illusions will kind of stall off this push bottom, and they're getting a lot of damage on mid tower for this. Got coil up in this game. They haven't really tried to make any play on top of Cordon. Very quiet start for Somnus compared to what we normally see in terms of rotations. And again, they're looking for the charge, but they're not going to find anything with the aggressive coil. Don't feel like the damage follow up is there, and a slow buildup of a game for Azure Ray. I think their damage comes more in the mid game with Max Shell and some more puck levels. Max Silence definitely going to help. Bolt on the Pugna and the Breaker. A lot of extra single target bursts. For now, cores are a bit too tanky to try and touch. Probably a wise idea. You don't want to throw any like cheeky kills bleeds away while they're getting out of this early game. Sure. Better to play for your peak, I suppose. So we'll wait for the Spear Breaker to get level 6. That's what I'm kind of hearing out of that list. If he gets level 6, the Puck has higher levels of... Uh, of silence and then maybe we can go 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 or level four ion shell maybe level four ion shell with like two point silence is enough Gordon's gonna try and force it this is not gonna be enough but you're gonna get some decent poke out and just stalemating in mid so it's time for ice 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 to recover well as the supports to try and find some levels somewhere i don't really know where though if you're not fighting and i'm surprised they're letting ice sit up here when they have a breaker like he's just showing into that tower solo yeah, Breaker with an Ion Shell would do pretty well against that Spear Breaker, or excuse me, Underlord, right? One would think so. They rotate over now, but it's too late. Ice is already backed up. They've seen the Ancient Camp stack. Get a D Ward. That's pretty good. Going to open up the triangle a bit here. Gout the Ancients out once more. Get another Deep Obs, but that Obs is spotted. Provide any value here, as it'll get cleaned up shortly. And this slow pace continues. Just farming up. Jackie loves a slow pace. Does he in this game, though? That's a question. Against Darkseer, Puck, Medusa? With Pugna, who can also kill some of your illusions on the map? I don't know if you like this pace right now. I mean, really? I don't know if there's anything you can do about it with the Naga, but I think you'd be feel better if your Storm is running around killing people, because right now, Cordon 0 0 0. A little too quiet. Well, he might get some action here. Is they're going to dive in for Dubu? But the sounds came through just in time, stopping the puck. And FY is going to be slowed down. Vacuum back in. Dubu still not dead yet. And the puck not going to jaunt over to the orb. Chalice, he needs some help. Somnus and Low will provide some, pushing him back up against this tower. But tower oh, still standing. Oh, he did jaunt over his tower. That was a bold move. I mean, he knows Corden has no mana here, but this image. Uh, we've got Coil up the entire time. Where nice. Is Got a little too close there, trying to kill the ward. This is the old coil answer. You're just sitting there. He doesn't want to coil them because they're just sitting there and they're going to continue to sit there. They also don't have wall yet for Chalice. Oh, that's a big steal. That's going to be a big steal the entire game. Level four shell. Throw it on your storm. Let him go in. Push out these waves and look at the ancient stack. It's getting cleared. Yeah, they did. Decided now is the time to do it before Azure Ray can get here. Great the pit. That stops the charge. And they're going to clean up most of the creeps here. Maybe one or two are going to go over to Azure Ray. Not the biggest deal. Looks hey, like the coil. coil is going to be able to secure the Rubik kill. Telekinesis trying to throw him down to the tier two. Didn't quite make it, though. 
Uh, I feel like Bleed are lucky to get that Ancients and, and get out there. Yeah. That Contestal is very timely from AR. He will almost hit six on the breaker here. So one more fight, they have that unlocked. I also don't mind FY just farming this game too. I think the breaker can scale pretty hard here. There's not a huge counter to him in this game. There's no hard purge. There's no doom or shadow demon or something. Yeah. The pit's annoying, but you can play around the pit. And with shell, you can really shove these waves in a lot harder earlier than you normally would get to. That's something else I would look for for Azure Ray. This nice rotation on a challenge. He already surged up, got pulled halfway through. They can't quite deliver enough damage, though. Another time that Corden is just lacking in the power to finish these heroes off. A long zip back, which FY can follow him. He's going to be well far away from his allies, though. Low's going to be spotted. Dubu. Yeah, they're looking top with the gate as they found Low. Yeah, yeah but uh, I think there are going to be more uh, Azure Ray heroes than Bleed yeah, heroes. Yeah, through that gate, son. Yeah, I, I mean, part of that he was... didn't coil him. No, he, I, I, he did, but it, it only snaps when you go through the gate, right? Oh, did it snap? I thought he just missed him. Oh, FY going to go for the kill on Dubu, not getting the uh, hits in for the bash. Ice, meanwhile, oh, the orb didn't land onto him. The Sam that's finished him off, but the, oh, tower hit? Not quite enough. He had a little bit of heal. Yeah, a little extra fairy fire as yeah. well. Did that coil land? It did land. All right, that, that was just like frame perfect, I guess. I didn't even see it go off. <laughs> Zom, that's just too good even for me. Does indeed get the coil snapped through the gate. Finish off that Underlord with the Witchblade mintly finished here. And then he's going to be scaling pretty hard. I kind of like the pace on this blade. He didn't rush this game too much. And I think that's what you want out of the puck. You just want him in a position where he's guaranteed to scale for you. Not where he might have thrown the game away or messed up his item progression because that's what's going to make you feel really comfortable here is your mid game is already pretty solid with the breaker darks here and bleed backed into a corner they're going to have to start responding soon this naga is not going to 1v5 this game like it did last time oh they go for the underlord first that's going to be an ambitious kill especially if they push him down the cliff again the vacuum holds him in place and they will finish him off at the same time the swarm spirit is getting a little bit into it it's on this He's going to be healthy, and Corden's now out of mana. That's going to be trouble. Coil locked him down. Song going up, but the silence comes through in time to deliver the finishing blow. Yeah, that radius, not what it used to be. No. We'll get a level four waning rift stolen. That, that is pretty powerful. Very nice spell in this game. Let's see if Dubu survives here. Again, no bash for FY. Where's his, yeah, where's his RNG now? You used it all up earlier. Yeah, it deserted him in his time of need. I like that Lois joining these early fights. Like his can be very impactful, can help them convert on the objectives, and it's gonna boost up the all the net worth. Make these contests even harder for Jackie when yeah. he's ready ready to meet him. <laughs> oh no, Somnus, he took the wisdom rune. I thought Dubu was gonna go grab it, but apparently not. Or into the puck's pockets. I feel like Dusa, you wouldn't normally be like my Dusa is just not going to do a whole lot, but I think Naga Siren at this point does even less, so. Yeah, probably. Nuke damage, Mystic Flare, that's going to be enough. It's so hard, though, to get a single kill for Bleed. Yeah, Corden has to commit all of his resources. Yeah, plus that level 4 Wayne Rift. Meanwhile, you're just going to lose ice on the other side of that. Yeah, he still doesn't have pipe, and it's going to be a little bit longer still as and he, he dies is. again. He is having a rough one. He really is. Like, all you need from this Underlord is pipe this game, and it is just getting delayed and delayed. Lowest net worth in the game of all the cores. I mean, do you disassemble your Vanguard for it at this point? I feel like you almost do. Yeah, maybe. But that doesn't feel great either. You're just a walk and pipe. A pipe with a hero attached to it. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 there's a question. Would you take a centaur or a... Oh, I'm glad. That was what I was thinking. A walking pipe. Would I take a centaur with all his spells <laughs> or a pipe? Let's say an underlord with underlord. pipe and atrophy aura. That's all he has. That's it? I'm taking that over a centaur. <laughs> Guaranteed. That's not even a question. I thought it was literally going to be like pipe on a like neutral ogre. <laughs> and then that's that's a tough one. Like that's uh, a tough I'm one. Sorry, you know, I'm sorry. I have, I have sorry. to think about that. I feel like it's still the ogre creep with the pipe, but I have to think about it. I that. mean, if the ogre creep has the slam, then you're 100% going for the oh, ogre creep. Oh, he has a slam. It's just the stats are pretty bad, right? Sure, sure. Okay, you know what? If the, if the 
if the little ogre with the pipe can't be like mightiest or devoured <laughs> then I'm, I'm with the ogre with the pipe you know <laughs> I'm, I'm with him that's how much I hate Centaur right now. I'm all in. I believe uh, that pipe's mad value. That's gonna scale <laughs> with every ne all the items that your team gets. Welcome everybody to a Cap and Avery cast where Centaur is gonna be constantly catching random strays. I mean, what, I either have to talk about Centaur or the blood grenade counter. I'm never gonna get. So you, you take one or you take the other. It's an inevitability. <laughs> or phylactery axe. So I mean, phylact. I mean, I think we all saw seven to ten, five thousand net worth lead for Azure. <laughs> Talking about that one. <laughs> Three man smoke up for Azure Rays. They're going to push through the deuce up, getting her out and see if they could find a certain somebody who did indeed disassemble his vanguard Absolutely. and is now a walking pipe. Uh, he is a pipe. He has a bit booster as well, so a little extra value, but he has been found. And I think he is dead again. This will be number six for Ice Ice Ice. Hold back in. The pipe won't protect him. I mean, Chalice is just so far ahead of him, right? Like, yeah. he has Vanguard. He did not need to dissemble. He has a full Grease finished, and now he's looking towards the pipe. This is a problem for Bleed. You look at their lineup. What are they doing to the Auras here? Do they have any damage into the Grease pipe here on top of Chalice with a Pugna sitting behind who's going to also have some utility? Yeah, they, they were already struggling to get damage out of Corden, right? His Storm Spirit had to use all of his mana to get, like, one support right. kill in a fight. This is why I feel like the Storm needed to snowball more of this game, because yeah. once the auras come out, you are going to run into a brick wall, and it is going to crunch your face. You'll get a haste rune, and that's something. The smoke is coming through, and someone is going to pay the price. Grabs him, pokes him. He's dead. Bleed just trying to get out with as many heroes as possible here. Maybe try and clear this ancient camp real quick. Well, you can see the confidence that Azure Ray are playing with now in terms of just smoking aggressively into bleed because they know the five on five is insanely favored right now. Yeah, which is, uh, I mean, bleed in, in some ways, it's still kind of the same as game one early game, right? It's just like push yeah, out the lanes, run out the lanes with your Underlord and your Naga Siren and just get whatever farm you can. Once you have heart, maybe you could start thinking about fighting back. But the downside is what are you stalling for? Yeah, you seem a lot more confident about Azure Ray's late game. I do. Or I, mid to late game than game I, one. I feel like they just win late game. I don't see where Bleed win this late game. I don't think the Naga 1v5s... You win it if the Storm is snowballing, but the Storm is not snowballing. It's not close. Yeah. And there are Storm answers in this game. Corden is a walking orchid. Versus a Coil, versus a Winging Rift, versus a Vac. Might catch him on a charge. There's Pugna sustain that he has to fight through. Darks here. Oh, it's going to grab him. The charge's going to push him. Nice oh, goal. the glimmer. That's enough. Corden's out. And stolen coil. Oh. Spell. Maybe they can actually play for that. Ice gets a tower off that as well. So pretty nice little movement there for Bleed. Yeah. These nice. outer towers going down is important for the Naga Siren. They're still looking for Corden, but they will not find Corden. He did not TP out. Even still, he's going to go farm some neutrals in the corner. Got to get what you can right now. Yeah, got to be efficient, right? I mean, you know this Medusa butterfly timing is coming. It is almost completed for low, and that is probably going to be a approach on for Azure Ray, unless you can get a crazy smoke going. Maybe this coil will allow you to make some plays off of DJ. You know, in some ways, it, it actually feels like Roshan is kind of bad for Azure Ray just because they're so slow at doing it. It is pretty slow. It, it just creates a lot of time for Bleed to push out lanes and get the farm they need. Yeah, I don't think you just walk in the pit in this type of game, but it's something that's in your back pocket. Pick off for a little team fight. I think you're happy to go in there and just like double, triple shell, wear it down. It's not too slow. I mean, it's slow, but it's, you know, it's not like you got a centaur on your team. <laughs> <laughs> Coils out. Oh. The Lord EP coming through. Some back now quickly with Grease. Get rid of part of that disable. Some essentially showing up. Able to help out. Restole the coil, oh, which is something. Oh, the backing back into the charge. What a combo with the wall. A zip on out. Corden knows this fight is done. Yeah, you're in trouble now as the reinforcements, indeed the cavalry, charges through the gate. And Ice 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 is looking at grave number seven here as he is just too slow to escape. Beautiful combo on the turnaround and really nice rotation from Somnus to be there in time. Yeah, I mean, that was get a that three-man coil. 
Uh, that was a very surprising move, I would say, from Bleed, right? With the stolen coil and the Underlord TPN. I would worked. not have expected that, and right. it did almost work. I think Child dies if he doesn't have, like, the extra Grease Bump, because that Orchid was very close to taking him out with the, the Soul Burn. Yeah. That thing is standing on its last brick. No, it's still called Soul Burn. Oh, I actually second-guessed myself, but... Good job. There's some old Dota knowledge. Trickles in there. Is that real Dota knowledge, though? What? Knowing what the item active abilities are <laughs> called. Guys, he's soul burned? He's soul burned right now? The soul burn might actually be able to get the kill with the Mystic Flare. This time they got him. But Corden, once again, he has to use all of his mana to get these kills. This so his awesome. life is forfeit every time. That's just not a value trade for bleed either. Like normally it would be, but the, you need the storm scaling in this game. That's why it feels bad. And charge going to connect on Jackie, but I don't think they have much follow up here. Can't really chain the Naga this game. Yeah. Honestly, getting the song out of him is probably any TP back to base. So who that, that he was trying to go for the coil there. Okay, Zomnus trying to do a little little cheeky action this game. Once more, having a standout performance, 6-0 and 5 from him, bouncing back from game one. Actually, he did pretty well game one, too. Yeah, it just wasn't enough, apparently. Well, that is, some would say, the story of Somnus's career. That <laughs> is so sad, so tragic, but, not but it's enough. true. Yeah. Hey, I'm the biggest Somnus fan. I okay? know, I know. Well, I feel like you're a bigger Zhao fan, but... It's close. It's close. You know, even in the years where Somnus wasn't playing, I was still hyping him up. Mm. I, I was still dedicated. I still kept my shrine. The candles were lit. Please, Somnus, come back. And then he I answered your prayers. Him. He finally came He's back. back. baby. It is beautiful. Look at him go. It's everything I imagined. Well, except for the part where this is not a Majors Finals. This is a group stage elimination match. Wait, what? <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. This is... He's on He's on the bottom of the groups, not the top. games away from a championship. <laughs> <laughs> My illusion. Dubu, watch out. Another pick off, but again, bleed. It's just kind of what they're playing with right now. They are just trying to prolong the game. Butterfly ball, ball, ball. will be a big timing for Jackie. Okay, all I'm saying is if if Phantom Lancer wasn't broken at that TI, he's a champion. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like that was a bugged ass tournament. I'm gonna I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna call it what it is. I mean, I'm not calling it that, but like, you know what I'm saying? That was a kind of... Well, the charge on through with the wall and the vacuum back in does some bit, but uh, Ice 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 with the Crimson Guard pipe is living. Now that he's got the double aura items, he can actually live through some of this one. And they're hunting down DJ again. He'll be the sacrifice that wall turnaround. Not good enough here, as these heroes are just too tanky. Again, I go to where is the damage going to come in into this ball? You even get an Underlord Illusion and it turns that Atrophy back around. I like, got oh, yeah. another Horde to add to the mix. It's rough out here. It is very rough to try and kill an AR hero when they are all clumped up and together, surrounded by the Pipe, the Greaves, the Glimmer, the Suck, the Mana Shield, Gossamer Capes. Gossamer Capes. Like Yules on Somnus. Shadow Blade on FY, another Gossamer Cape. I mean, <laughs> it's just so much to go through. Okay, so if you think Azure win late game, and they're up by 8K right now, what is the timing for Bleed? I I don't know. That's what, that's what I'm oh, asking uh, you. Okay, fine. The timing is around Butterfly on Jackie, because you don't have an MKB on the Dusa, and you're going to be able to walk in, and you're going to eventually spot Tian Ming. And Storm Spirit's going to jump in, kill him. Okay. And zip back out. Okay. And then they all walk away because Gordon's out of mana. All right. Sounds great. Honestly, I feel like you have to steal wall and create a Medusa wall illusion and have it kill everybody. And then throw him back in a couple times. And have yeah. it not get like sucked by Pugna or anything else. Yeah. Maybe you can sleep like four of them and then hit him out of the sleep. Yeah, they don't have big combos around sleep, huh? If anything, them grouping up just means Mystic Flare is less effective. 
mean, if they had like a hex fire, that would also help. I guess Storm or Naga could get a hex this game, but it feels very far away. All right, Butterfly's done, no NKB yet. So this is your timing. They're doing Roshan. You have the butterfly advantage over MKB. Yeah, this has got to be it. If you don't do it now, you may never be able to do it. Well, I think this is just gone. Get in there, boys. Oh, they're going to be too late. FY's just going to throw himself out there. Getting bashed. Yeah. He's coming through. Yeah, Lowe's coming in by himself. The song goes out. Oh, it's oh can close. they take this Roshan? It's got to be. All your damage, oh, no. throw all your damage, can they get it in time? They got it on to Jackie, yeah. but now they're all grouped right. up and they charge back in. This wall is looking nasty. There's too much control. The silence out. That's going to be enough to get the kill on court. And now Jackie's trying to get away with that Aegis, trying to disappear into the trees. And he looks like he might be able to get there. FY not able to spot him. TP out. That's good. DJ gets out. out as well. They oh, only lost Corden. FY knows. Oh no, FY. The Shadow Blade's going to run out soon. Jackie, he doesn't realize it, but he's going to pay for his greed here. Yeah, he has no song. He's probably just dead twice. Unless yeah. he somehow TP's out of here, but I don't see an opening. Yules on Somnus, bashes and charges, and yeah. Jackie, linger too long, and that Grand Theft Aegis does not pan out. But at least you took it away from Azure Ray, which was looking guaranteed for them. There he goes. All right. Well, that kill was worth a thousand and sixty gold. Funny how that works. I mean, he is very farmed. He is. He is. No doubt. It's, it's just tough to go into this group. Like, if you had any combo off the song here, I think you could take this fight. There's just nothing. The combo is you all get backed in the three-man yeah. charge coil. You just yeah, send it up on yourself. That's part of the problem here. What is happening after the initiations for bleed? It's just all Azure. You don't have good single target burst to go through these ores, and you don't have really good AOE control to punish on a clump. So what do you... That That's why I'm having difficulty seeing where the lineup comes together. Outside of if the early game snowballed off of, like, Storm Rubik's Sky just killing a bunch of people and gaining a lead, which never happened. Early game was too slow here for bleed. I don't think it's been their strength either. And this game is becoming very difficult as Low finishes MKB here. So that Naga butterfly. Yeah. There goes some value. Especially since they showed they don't necessarily even need the no physical damage to kill the Naga Siren. And FY is powering up, man. Yeah, now with his Shadow Blade, he's going to try and solo Corden. Not quite good enough, but it was a decent scare. Or for Somnus to reach. But the siege has begun. Lowe has walked to the high ground. Yeah, look at him getting out healed thanks to the Pugna. The poke is pretty good for bleed. Their high ground defense is annoying. You're going to get bolted. You're going to get storm jumped. You have to go through the pit and the fire storms. There's a veil from Dubu to throw on top of all this magic damage. Fade bolt and atrophy aura to reduce your base damage if you come in range. Sure, but what's stopping Low from just hitting and getting healed? Because that is the Pugna advantage, right? Pugna Dusa. This combo is super annoying for that reason. That Pugna heals your mana, and your mana is worth more than just an HP heal. I mean, you could ask him lately. Please, please stop healing. Low, please go away. <laughs> I mean, nobody's ever tried it. That's true. I can't imagine a time. Uh, actually, I feel like there was an all chat like that. Oh, another three. Oh, minutes. yeah. These vacuum charges are looking good. FY Chalice. They got stolen wall, though. OK, that's something to work with here. Yeah, getting a do so illusion. And then somehow Tian Ming's keyboard disconnects and he can't suck it. Well, that's up to Corden. Kill Tian Ming and you have a real chance here. By the way. Hand of Midas on ice. I didn't ice. want to talk about it, but okay. yeah, there's a <laughs> there's a hand of Midas on. What do you ice. think about the hand? I don't want to talk about it. I, yeah, it's, I mean it's there, it's there. I think we can all see it. Okay. Well, they're pretty clumped. Here comes the wall. Yeah, there's your Deuce Illusion. Yeah, that's going to be looking really nice. Did they spawn Tian Ming in the back? Corden's going to try and help them. They're going to go for the Deuce. They're trying to finish him off quickly, but the Stone Gaze locks them all down with the Vacuum Combo. And Somnus is just clearing through them one by one. I, Yikes. I don't even think that Deuce Illusion died to suck. I think it just got killed by low. That did not last long. So for all that hype, 
It ends up not delivering too well, but I respect that they went for that combo. Hey, hit him with the stolen nether strike. Nope. Somnus blinked away. Well, another lane down. As Azure Ray continue steamrolling through this game with their Medusa timing that is untouchable. This is just where the Naga matchup sucks. You cannot fight this hero head on unless you have a lot of help. Yeah. There's not much help to be given here. It was a bold move by Bleed to go back to the Naga Siren in the first phase like this. And Azure Ray will well prepared as Jackie tries to slip in through the side to deal with this Pugna. But he's immediately repelled by Azure Ray. He'll bump him back in here. Jackie down to half health. Trying to get back to the high ground. Yule sceptered up and going to be surrounded by so many heroes. He's dead. Going to have to play for buyback now. Man, they even tipped him. That, that's a little too much, man. Come on. <laughs> have some respect. Have some decency. Have some humanity. The man is dead, and Azure Ray will show no mercy. Where's the buyback? Are you going to be going up against Megas soon? And I think Bleed aren't going to buy back because they're like, well, we can't stop them. Hoping that Azure Ray will just back out by themselves. All right, you guys got Megas. You can leave now. Time to ask politely again. Actually, you know what? Just let, just go game three. <laughs> don't, don't ask him to leave. Just take the fight. We'll see what happens in the next one. But this is this is just a hard draft. Unless you execute that mid lane really well, it turns into this style of 5v5 where you just don't have damage and it feels bad. Not a lot of openings to be created. It'll be a five-man smoke from AR to try and finish this up. Try and see someone coming out on the ward. No, they're just going to let him get it for free. All right, Megas for Bleed. The lineup can theoretically deal with it. Theoretically. They don't have Corden right now, and they're trying to defend the base without him. Not sure what Corden's trying to farm for, but there it is. The vacuum with the charge in the wall looking very good. Now, it looks like the Spirit Breaker is going to take a lot of damage here and maybe die. And if Corden can get that and get back to the fountain again, we got a game to play with here, but he can't. Spirit Breaker lives. They have to use the song just to keep their few heroes still alive. Song to call the GG's game. Called. That is about all the combo they had for that the entire time. And <laughs> song into GG. <laughs> song into GG is a good combo. Like, yeah. I wouldn't put it up there with Static Storm or Black Hole, for sure. Example, but I think it's like, it's probably between Song into Frostbite and Song into Lion Impale.